know why I use a knife. Guns are too quick. You can't savor all the little emotions. You see, in their last moments, people show you who they really are. Fear. The spectacle of fearsome acts. Somebody steals from me, I cut off his hands. He offends me, I cut out his tongue. He rises against me. I cut off his head, stick it on a pike. Raise it high up so all in the streets can see. That's what preserves the order of things. Fear. They tell me your son squealed like a girl when they nailed him to the cross. And your wife moaned like a whore when they ravaged her. Again and again and again. Someday, someday my dream will come. One night you'll wake up and you'll discover it never happened. It's all turned around on you. It never will. Suddenly you are old. It didn't happen. It never will because you were never going to do it anyway. You're pushing in a memory that zone out in your barco lounger, being hypnotized by daytime TV for the rest of your life. Don't you talk to me about murder. And all it ever took was a down payment on a Lincoln Town car. Or that girl, you can't even call that girl. What the fuck are you still doing driving a cab? There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. My pain is constant and sharp, and I do not hope for a better world for anyone. In fact, I want my pain to be inflicted on others. I want no one to escape. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed hustling room with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. You know how quickly the boys found you, all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the backseats of cars, while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end. You know what this is like? It's like those old movies we both love. Now I'm going to tell you my whole plan, and then I'm going to come up with some absurd and convoluted way to kill you, and you'll find an equally convoluted way to escape. Sounds good to me. Well, this ain't that kind of movie. Well, Pam, which way are you going? Left or right? Right. Ah, uh, that's too bad. You see, we're both going left. Could have just as easily been going left too and if that was the case it would have been a while before you started getting scared but since you're going the other way i'm afraid you're gonna have to start getting scared immediately you're not your job you're not how much money you have in the bank you're not the car you drive you're not the contents of your wallet you're not your fucking khakis you were the all singing, all dancing crap of the world. It's when you start to become really afraid of death that you learn to appreciate life. Do you like life, sweetheart? Yes. That's good. Because I take no pleasure in taking life if it's from a person who doesn't care about it. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. Call it, yes. For what? Just call it. We need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything. Call it. Heads, then. Well done. Ich bin der
große Verräter. Es darf keinen größeren geben. Wer auch nur wagt, ans Davonlaufen zu denken, wird in 198 Teile zerstückelt. Und auf ihm wird dann so lange herumgetrampelt, bis man die Wände mit ihm streichen kann. Wer auch nur ein Korn Mais zu viel isst und einen Tropfen Wasser zu viel trinkt, der wird dafür eingesperrt für 155 Jahre. Wenn ich agiere will, dass die Vögel tot von den Bäumen fallen, dann fallen die Vögel tot von den Bäumen herunter. Ich bin der Zorn Gottes. Die Erde, über die ich gehe, sieht mich und bebt. Wer aber mir und dem Fluss folgt, wird unerhörten Reichtum erlangen. Wer aber desertiert. Wanting people to listen, you can't just tap them on the shoulder anymore. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer. And then you'll notice you've got their strict attention. Let me give you a little inside information about God. God likes to watch. He's a prankster. He gives man instincts. And then what does he do? I swear, he sets the rules in opposition. It's the goof of all time. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, don't swallow. He's laughing his sick fucking ass off. He's a tight ass, he's a sadist, he's an absentee landlord. Worship that, never. I'm here on the ground with my nose in it since the whole thing began. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. I cared about what he wanted and I never judged him. Why? Because I never rejected him. In spite of all his imperfections, I'm a fan of man. Who? in their right mind, Kevin, could possibly deny the 20th century was entirely mine. All of it, Kevin! Wendy? Stay away! Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. I'm gonna bash them right the fuck in. <laughs> I want you to get this fuck where he breathes. I want you to find this Nancy boy, Elliot Ness. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ashes. Stop crying, you sniveling ass. Stop your nonsense. You're just the afterbirth, Eli. No. They slithered out on your mother's filth. They should have put you in a glass jar on the mantelpiece. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blinding. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. I will show you where I have made my home. Whilst preparing to bring justice, then I will break you. Your precious armory, gratefully accepted. We will need it. Ah, yes! I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit? Oh, your money! Let him go! No. I'll take him. I'll take all of you. I'll feast on your flesh as I feed on your fear. Or you will just leave us be. I will take him, only him, and then I will have my long rest. And you will all live to grow and thrive and lead happy lives. Until old age take you back to the weeds. <laughs> is the torment of your friend, Father Karras, as he watches while I rip and cut and mutilate the innocent, his friends, and again, and again, and on and on. He is inside with us. He will never get away. His pain won't end.